Hey guys, Tony Maritato here. Welcome to the Total Knee Replacement Support Group YouTube channel. In this video, this is the one you've been waiting for. I'm going to show you how to take digital photos that you probably will take on your cell phone and use a program to figure out your range of motion. This is going to allow you to measure range of motion at home. Uh, the best way to do it really is if you have a friend or a family member or somebody who can take the photos for you, that's going to give you the cleanest picture. If you don't, you can maybe use a selfie stick. You can maybe prop your phone up on a stack of books, something. But to the best of your ability, you want to get a perpendicular profile photo of your knee in flexion and in extension. Okay, so I'm going to show you how to use a protractor to replicate what a goniometer does in the clinic. But I also want you to understand that the number doesn't really matter that much. I'm showing you because everybody's asking for it. But I promise you, I'm guessing you did not get your knee replaced because you wanted to reach a certain number on a goniometer. You got your knee replaced because you wanted to live life. You wanted to embrace opportunity. You wanted to get outside and be in nature and play with kids and grandkids and family and do the stuff that you love to do that you couldn't do before because the knee was just too painful and too limiting. That's what's important. So I always say we want to focus on measuring progress, not degrees. We want to focus on function. Can you get up and down the stairs? Can you get on and off the ground? Can you do the things that you couldn't do before surgery? Can you do them better? Can you do them with less pain? Those are the true signs of what success will look like. But because I know the number is important to so many of you and you want control and you want a way to be able to measure that progress on your own, I've agreed to make this video. Um, and in the description of this video, I will share the link to where you can download this protractor that I'm using. You can use any graphic design software. In this case, I'm gonna use Canva because Canva is free. It's widely available, it's online, um, but you can use anything. Certainly like Photoshop or, or any of those programs will work just as well. So let's jump into the website, let's begin. Uh, on the home screen of Canva, I'm gonna click create a design, custom dimensions, and I'm just gonna make it a thousand by a thousand, just so I have a, a nice square canvas to work with. What you need to do is you need to upload the photos that you take. So we click on upload. Now I'm on a desktop. This is a PC. You can use um, your phone or a tablet or anything like that. Just the smaller the screen, the harder it is to see. So I clicked on upload, going to my device. And what I want to do is I want to grab the protractor. I'm going to import that. You guys will have the link for that. And then I also want to go back in and I'm going to grab a photo of one of our members. So she sent me this photo so I can take a measurement. Um, and, and I figured, you know what, this would be a great way to do it. Little pro tip, I'm going to bring my protractor onto the screen first. I have just found that it works much, much better if you do it this way. And then I'm going to grab the picture of the knee and I'm going to bring that over second. I want to click on my protractor, which happens to be behind the knee. And I'm going to go to position and I'm going to go to forward because I want to bring that protractor in front of the knee. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the knee photo and I'm going to enlarge it kind of as big as I can. Um, now we're ready to go. So we'll go back on the protractor. I'm going to use these little curly Q arrows. I'll click and spin my protractor around, kind of get relatively into position. But to make this just a whole lot easier, we're going to go over to elements from the menu. We're going to go to line and I just dropped a line right here. I'm going to make that line red so it stands out a little more and we're going to find some landmarks. So if you look at the outside of your ankle, there's a bony bump. That's called your lateral malleolus. I want to go from that bony bump on the outside of my ankle down to kind of the center of the knee. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to arrange this line. I'm going to tilt it using those curly um, arrows so that it's going kind of right through the center portion of my knee. It's following along 
the fibula, which is the bone that runs right along the outside of the leg. Okay, so we're pretty close. Let's see if I can kind of tweak that just a little bit. And you can see, guys, this, this is still somewhat subjective of a way to measure, but it's about the best we've got right now, and it's free. I've got my first line. Now I'm gonna hold Control C to copy that line and Control V to paste it. So I, now I've got a duplicate of that line. I'm gonna rotate this and this line is gonna line up. Unfortunately, I don't have the top of the hip in this photo, but basically what we're looking for, if you were to place your hand where a front side pocket would be or the side seam of your shorts or pants or whatever you're wearing, you're gonna feel a bony bump where your hip is that bony bump that sticks out the furthest if, if it's painful that's a sign of bursitis but that bony bump is where your greater trochanter is that is one of the landmarks we're going to use to line up uh, the other bar so i'm kind of guessing at where her greater trochanter is i'm also kind of just looking for the center of the femur, the uh, upper thigh bone. I'm going to go somewhere around there. Now I'm going to do a little bit of tweaking because I feel like this wasn't quite lined up with the pivot point. All right, let's go just a touch more. There we go. Okay, that's looking good. I'm going to take my protractor. I'm going to bring it all the way out to the front. So now it's on top of everything. I'm going to line up that bottom line with the center of my um, vertical line, I guess you would call it. We're going to go right there. And so looking at this right now, the way I've got everything lined up, we're pretty well looking at about 100, if you look at this inside circle, when you're, when you're measuring knee range of motion. Full extension would be zero. A perfect right angle at the knee is 90 degrees. As the heel moves closer to the back side, the back of the hip, that goes above 90 degrees, right? You're, you're going as high as 180. It's impossible to achieve 180. That means your bone would be on top of the other bone. Um, but typically we're looking at about 120 as considered you know, full normal range of motion, 135. For somebody who has not had a knee replacement but in this scenario i'm still not totally happy with where this is lining up i feel like that better represents no it's too much you guys hear my internal dialogue okay that's looking better i like that i mean it doesn't change my measurement all that much um so let's see here. Sometimes if you want real fine tuning, you just use the arrows on the keyboard. Okay, so we're pretty close to one. I'm going to say this is 114. So we're using the inner circle to measure flexion because we're past 90. And I'm looking at about 114. You know, now from here, I can click download. I can download this measurement, save it to my desktop, and I use this um for kind of tracking my progress it's going to open up uh i can also you know i can type a date in here if i want i can do any of that stuff um but guys this is it it's really that simple then you would do the same thing for extension uh you can come in here let's grab uh an extension photo that she sent me we'll grab this what I'm going to do is I'm going to add another page. I'm going to bring my goniometer on here. I'm going to grab the extension. And just for fun, I'm going to make it the full size. For this one, so I'm going to pivot it and enlarge it. Now I'm going to come in here. And let's see, let's see what we can do. So I'm going to flip it around because I had it the wrong way. Okay, so that top bar running right through the femur. 
and the lateral malleolus is down here. So if I want to grab an element, grab a line, we'll make it red. We're going to spin it around. Let's bring it down. Let's see. I'm just kind of fine-tuning this. You know, bring my, my protractor forward. So I'm looking at about 111, um, 111, 112 for flexion. It's hard to say if the picture is exactly lined up perpendicular, but it's close enough. Um, I can get a general idea. So I go up, there's one, there's two. Now, super duper bonus tip. If you guys want to do something that's really, really cool, and I'm just thinking about this right now. Uh, Canva is free. It allows you to continue to add pages, right? You could essentially make a flip book, you can make a book that you eventually print on paper, you can make a digital PDF version of the book, you can do a lot of cool stuff. But you can make a book that would track your progress from week one, week two, week three, week 12, and so on. You could add little journal entries in here. This is a really cool idea. <laughs> I don't know, I, I've shared this idea before in other platforms, but never on Canva. Um, you should think about that. Like this is the kind of experience that journaling will absolutely help improve your outcome and, and help document the experience. And I wouldn't be surprised if it would help other people who might end up going through the same um, decisions that you're going through. So keep that in mind. Do what works for you. Uh, I hope this video was helpful. It's not what's best, but it's what we have. You know, well, is this going to replace a therapist getting your range of motion measurements? Absolutely not. But if your clinic is shut down, if you don't have access to a therapist, if you just want to do it yourself, you can take these techniques, you can refine them, you can clean them up, and you can get a really good number if you want to do this. Guys, as always, I appreciate your time, your patience, you listening to me um, share the information. I hope it's helpful. If it is, please like the video. Please subscribe to the channel and share this video if there's anybody you think it might benefit. Guys, I'll catch you on the next one. Thanks for watching.